Big man, so your high school career over with or whatever, man. It's time to go on to the big league. College. Man. Yeah. What was, what was that like? What was that transition like? And what was that summer like? Like. Yeah. So college, actually, I don't even think a lot of people know this. Like, I had one D1 offer mm -hmm. from Tech. That was my only D1 offer. I had three offers total. That's it. I had Lee, which is up the street, whatever, in Cleveland. I had Lee's McCray, which is in North Carolina. And then I had Tennessee Tech, but the Lee and Lee's McCray was D2, Tech was D1. So, and I got that the last game of the last tournament we played ever of AU. Really? The last, yes, like we packing up, finna go home the next day, get a call that night. They like, Coach Payne from Tennessee Tech, he like, man, we gonna offer you. I'm like, mm -hmm. dang, like that's crazy, the last game, so, whatever. So yeah, that was, a, that was a crazy moment, but went to Tech, and so my senior year, that was really, I signed early. I signed like November of my senior year. So I, people say like, people think if I would have not signed early, I would have got some more offers. But me and Coach Sherman, Coach Sherman was like, this is a good place for you. I know this dude, like I can trust him with you. He don't let you play like whatever. It's D1, that's all you need. They just need the chance, whatever. So I was like, bet, I'm rocking with you. Coach Sean was like my, one of my mentors or whatever. I'm like, I'm rocking with it. Like, they believe in me anyway. They're the first ones to jump the gun. So I'm like, they loyal, obviously. So I'm like, bet, let's do it. So I signed. But after the season, just, you can't really prepare for the things that, like the conditioning, just stuff like that. You can be in shape, like just stay in the shape, stay in the gym, but like, the stuff, I was in the gym every day, like I'm going hard, like I'm doing all this, but like when you actually get there, the intensity, the like level you're doing at the speed is different. Like, so I was working out and doing all that, but just transitioning, that was the next biggest just transition I had. Cause going from high school to college, man, it's a big difference. Like it's bigger than middle school and I like middle school to high, it's huge difference. Like everybody big, they saw all grown men. My, my teammate got two kids. Like I'm an 18 year old kid out of high school. Like my teammate got two kids. Like I'm like man. So yeah, bro, it's different. It's a completely different world. Just getting used to that, the physicality and all that. Mm -hmm. All right, man. Let's talk about that freshman year. How, how you do? Freshman year, I went nuts. Yeah, <laughs> I went. Mean? I went nuts freshman year. My freshman year really like. My freshman year set me up for a lot of a lot of stuff. Like my fresh, my college career is crazy, by the way. But my freshman year, I went crazy. So I came in first game we played Memphis, Penny Hardaway. That was his first game at Memphis too. So it's sold out crowd, it's packed all that. So I get in, I do decent whatever. But I ain't even starting then. Like I'm not starting nothing. Nobody even expecting me. Like people, I'm in practice. I'm doing good, whatever. But like. People not really expecting, you know what I'm saying? Like what I really did, whatever. So we get like probably like six, seven games through the season. We play at home. I got like 20, I had like 20 and 10, like something like that freshman year. But I'm still coming off the bench. So my coach, all right, like, it, like, yeah, like we had singers and stuff like, and shout out them boys for sure. But like, we was losing, which we still was losing. Like we had a, a losing season, whatever, but it was just like, all right, like we can't keep bringing him off the bench. Like we play in my freshman year, man. My freshman year was crazy. We played North Carolina, we played Tennessee, we played Michigan State, we played some people. Like we played some dudes, whatever. And then was all like the before I was starting. So then was all like the first however many games, seven games we played Memphis, North Carolina, all them. So I'm like, dang, we getting blew out too. So I'm like, man, this college, like I ain't, I ain't ready for this. Like, but let me I, ask you this though, like. From a, okay, clearly they had the better teams or whatever. Mm -hmm. But from an individual perspective, did uh, when you played against those teams, did, did it show you that man? I can I can go with you, dudes, man. Right? At, I'm yes, and I that's like I said, that's when I wasn't even starting. So I'm sitting on the bench, like man, I know I could, like I know I could play with these dudes. Like even when I'm getting in, like I remember when I got in against North Carolina. By the way, was, North Carolina was my dream school growing up. So like when we played them. That's the only game like in my life I've ever been nervous. I don't really get nervous. Like I think everybody kind of get a little something, but I don't never really get nervous. Like, but when we played North Carolina, I got in, I was nervous. But I came in, I did a move like something, and I score. I'm like, oh, this easy. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I know I could do this. Like whatever. Like I'm cool. And I end up having like I think eight or ten points, something like that. But it was cool. But yeah, I definitely knew like for sure. 
Yeah, we caught a flight, played Michigan State like two days later. They blasted us. <laughs> they blasted I'm like, damn, man, we getting blasted. I'm like, this crazy. But, nah, after about that six or seven game, after I had that game, it was all right. Like, we can't, we can't deny it. Like, so I started starting. And then, because that kind of rolled into conference. And conference play, I was averaging like 20. Really? In conference, yeah, like my freshman year, I was 19, but I was actually like 19. I was having some triple, almost triple double games, like just crazy numbers, like crazy numbers. I would have made first team really all these years. I didn't make first team to my last year, this year, and it's just because we was losing, like we was losing, but like. I was having new. I was got newcomer team that year, yeah. uh, and then I got second team. So I made all OVC, whatever. But yeah, I had a good year. We was just losing, man. So it was tough. Yeah. So um, going into that sophomore year, I'm pretty sure your confidence was high. Yeah, it was through the roof or whatever. So definitely. So let's talk about going to that sophomore year. So man. that sophomore year, sophomore year was crazy because the, we got a new coach. Mm -hmm. So the day after our last game my freshman year, they fired our coach, which was crazy. Like, we was on spring break, we was in Illinois. We came back, the school was already on spring break, so I'm packing up, getting ready to go home. On my way home, I get a call the next day, like, my coach, he like, yeah, man, like, they firing me. I was, I'm like, oh, man, like, this dude who believes in me. Yeah. yeah, like, I'm like, that's tough. I'm like, I hate that. So everybody thinking I'm gonna leave and stuff, but I'm like, why leave? And I just, you know what I'm saying? I'm basically the man here now. Mm -hmm. Like, so I'm like, nah, I ain't leaving. Like, but people, I don't know, people just get caught up in that too much. Like, have a good year at a lower and then go higher. Like, that's cool and all, but I don't know. And I was really just trying to get it done at Tech, which it didn't happen. But, mm -hmm. but so we get a new coach. We ain't got a coach for like the last however many months of school because they ain't hired a coach to like the end of school. So from like March to May, we don't even have a coach. So we all just kind of in there working out by ourselves, but like we goofing off, like niggas getting, or excuse my language, we getting out of shape, like all that. So, but we we hooping, but we ain't really in shape, whatever. So, Pell come in, Coach Pell, that's who came in, whatever. He work us out, he killing us all that, and then we just went from there. So my sophomore year was kind of like a kind of like a rebuild year again, kind of like I said, like yeah. it was just kind of like I had to figure it out again, like. So my numbers, I think my freshman year I averaged like maybe like 15, something like that. And then my sophomore year I was like 14, 13. So it wasn't like the year people thought I was gonna have, like everybody thought I was gonna come average more or whatever. So it wasn't the year I had, but it was just so, we had a new team. He brought in some of his recruits, some of the people I was playing, it was just new, it was a new system. Like, so I had to get, you know what I'm saying? I had to fill it out, whatever, and just get used to it. So it was kind of like a rebuild year again. So it was tough, but, Playing for a new coach is always tough, like, and that's a, that's just some things like in college that people would overlook, like you know what I'm saying. On the outside looking in, it don't look like it's a, but picking up a new coach and stuff like that, it's a big deal. So, yeah. All right. All right. So, uh, so that was kind of like a figuring it out year. Mm -hmm. How would you say you did though, overall? Though, just I feel like I did good, man. And our team, like, our team wasn't the best that year. Just because we kind of had to rebuild. Yeah. So, I, but with that team, I think out of all the teams I played on, that team maxed out. Like, we did with what we had, we did the best we could. Mm -hmm. Like, we did the best we could. Like, that's just how I feel. I think everybody on that team felt like they're like, we weren't super big. Like, we wasn't, we wasn't none of that, but we'll slip in and win a few games. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we weren't supposed to win. So, like, I feel like we just maxed out. But I feel like I had a good year. I learned a lot that year. I learned a whole bunch just about myself. Like, I learned a lot. All right, your junior year, let's talk about it. Junior year was another big year. So after sophomore year, COVID happened. Mm -hmm. After my sophomore year, COVID happened. So, but we didn't make the tournament anyway. So we didn't, we didn't have a tournament, whatever. They shut it down, whatever. But my our season was already over. Like COVID, everything got shut down like over. Well, we got done literally like a week before everything shut down. So we was done anyway, whatever. So we chilling in COVID, all that. So that summer come and everybody, this when I came back to chat, really everybody came back to chat. And we was just uh, working out and stuff, all that through the summer. And then junior year came up and it was, I had another good year. I ended up averaging like 17 that sophomore year, that rebuild year. Like I was in the system for a year. I got, to, I figured it out. 
all that. And then I came back, had another monster year. I had average like 17, 18 points. And it was just a good year. It was different. It wasn't no fans, all that. But like, it was still, we were still competing. Like everything was the same, just no fans or whatever. But I had another good year. So really after that year, people really thought I was gonna leave. Like people are like, all right, he like, he need to get out of there. And I'm like, man, like, I don't think I should do that because like I said, like I'm the man here. Like I should come back and have another, an even better year, win, and then, you know what I'm saying? Then whatever, get out of there. But that didn't happen. And my senior year was like crazy in my life. We're gonna talk about it. But junior year, I had a good year for sure. It was just, it was just solid. <laughs> Alright, so we see your senior year was crazy. What you mean, man? Senior year was probably the craziest year of my life, man. So my senior year, and it's a lot of stuff I just can't say, like okay. about people and what happened. But mm -hmm. my senior year, so like I said, I had a good, uh, my best year yet, my junior year. So come back, whatever, my senior year, and me and my coach just wasn't on the same page. It's the same coach. Man. It's the same coach. We just wasn't on the same page at all. Like from the beginning of the season to the end, we just. So, so what about the sophomore and junior? We all seen. We was cool. Yeah, y'all was cool. We was cool. Like we had no problems. Like I'm trying to learn. Like we was cool, but like, and like I said, it was a lot of stuff happening like behind the scene. But it wasn't nothing like to. I don't think it was nothing serious enough to do what he did, mm -hmm. like act how he was acting. Like it wasn't nothing se that serious, like. But it was just kind of like, I don't know. We just wasn't seeing eye to eye, and it wasn't just me. Like it wasn't just me. Like our whole team ended up transferring. I was like, really, it was like three, four players left. Like it was just, it was just what it was a bad environment. It was a bad environment, whatever. So. I end up having, I had a good year though. Like I averaged like 14, 15, but see what's crazy is when I started the first game of conference, we played actually, we played against TSU. I started the first game of conference. That was the first game. After that game, I didn't start yeah. no more. I, I, didn't, that. I'm like, hey, like, Junior ain't even start no I more. didn't start no more. So you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm like, what's going, like we had a disagreement. But like, we talked, you know what I'm saying? We talked it out, whatever. I'm like, okay, maybe he just gonna not start me for however many games, whatever. He didn't start me the rest of the season. We got to a game, we had like seven, eight players. Like two of them walk-ons. So really like six players, something like that. And I still didn't start. I'm like, what did I do to you? Like, what's going on? Like, I'm confused. So, you know what I'm saying? On the outside looking in, people thinking I'm doing something. Like, yeah. what you out there doing? Like, your grades bad? You? Yeah. I'm like, bro, I ain't doing nothing. I'm yeah. on the Dean's list. Like, <laughs> I ain't bothering nobody. Like, yeah. man, it was crazy. It was crazy. Yeah. Like, it was a game, our first game of the season. Like, I, I'm going to just say this. Our first game of the season, I wasn't even supposed to really play in. Really? Like he didn't even really want me to play in the game. For real. Over something crazy, like something that it should just shouldn't have happened like that. Like it shouldn't have happened like that. So I wasn't even really supposed to play in that game. Like a lot of people don't know that. And my teammates went to his office and basically told him like, what are we doing? Like what's going on? Like we need Junior, that's our captain, that's our leader, like whatever. And that was the thing, like my relationship with my teammates have always been like this. Like mm -hmm. that's really like my favorite part of being in college, just the relationships I build with my teammates. So like outside of the coaches, any of that, like so I knew they was gonna stick up for me anyway. Yeah. Like I didn't ask them to do that. They went and did that just off the strength of just I don't know, just our brotherhood. Mm -hmm. So I end up whatever, when we played Memphis again, the first game, whatever, my senior year. So they went and did that. I got like, when he tell me I can play or whatever, it's like three days before the game. Mm. So I ain't been working out with the team, mm. nothing. Like, I'm like, yeah, like, so I'm like, I'm going to the gym still, but it's on my own. Like at night, one of our, uh, whatever, trainers come in, whatever, and work me out. But it ain't the same as being with the team, like all that. So we get like three days out, he like, you can play. I'm like, all right, like whatever. So I get to practicing, practice the first day, second day I practice, I tweak my ankle. Mm. I'm like, oh man, like I tweak my ankle bad. Like, so I'm like, that's not good, like whatever. So we get to the game, we play Memphis. 
I think I had like nine points, nine assists, and like eight boards. Mm -hmm. Like just something like crazy, weird stat line. My mouth that hurt, like I ain't even been practicing for real. Like it was just crazy. Then we went from there, like, but that man, it was, I got so many stories from my senior year, like <laughs> so many stories. At one time I was sick, like I had COVID. Really, I had COVID. I ended up getting COVID, but it didn't show up in the test till like a few days later or whatever. So we had went on a road trip. And I'm on a road trip, I'm sick as a dog, but I'm like, telling them like, I'm a play. Like, I'm I'm a play, like, even if I gotta be a decoy, like, I'm a play, mm -hmm. I'm trying to win this game, but I ain't got no energy. So we get, we lose the game, we get back from the road trip, and he tell me like, you didn't have no energy this trip, like, and you're our leader. So he was like, the fact that you didn't have no energy and all that, like, I'm not gonna start you the next game. I'm like, bro, I was sick. Like, and then like literally three days later, I took the test, I had COVID. I'm like, what you mean? Like that, it was just like, he was looking for something. Like, I'm like, I ain't did nothing to you, but I don't know. I kind of think honestly, it happened like that because I had that fifth year and he kind of figured out that I was trying to get out of there, like for that fifth year. But I didn't understand that because I did my four years. I could have left, right. like, you know what I'm saying? I could have left, but I didn't, it wasn't even the fact that I could, I didn't want to. Like, I was really trying to get it done here with you. Like, so I'm like, why are you turning? It, well, I don't want to say, but it feel like, why you, why I feel like you turning on me? Like, for no reason, whatever. So, Dang, yeah, so it was crazy. So you facing real adversity then. You Man, know? I was going through it. <laughs> I was going through it my senior year. Like that, that was the year I was like, okay, that mental health stuff is real. Mm -hmm. Like, it's real, like. I ain't never called home so much. Like, I ain't never just craved my family so much. Like, I just, it was crazy. Yeah. It was a crazy year. Yeah. So, after going through that, I'm pretty sure uh, that made you strong. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Mentally strong. Most definitely. Yeah. All right, Nick. So, so, that's four years at Tennessee Tech, man. Let's talk about some of the stuff you achieved at Tennessee Tech. Uh, you was like only, it was only two players in Tennessee Tech history that um, scored 400 points in four consecutive seasons. Yeah. That's big, man. Yeah. That's big time, man. Yeah. Um, you was only the second player to uh, get 50 plus steals in three seasons. Mm -hmm. And uh, the only player in Tech history to rank top 10 in scoring, assists, three point field goals made, and Steals. Yeah. yeah, man, that's big. Man. So, yeah. You went over there and laid it down, man. Yeah. So I don't know what he was tripping on, bro. Some of the stuff you ain't can't talk about. I yeah. Mean, he must have been in that putting. I don't know, but yeah. he was tripping, bro. Yeah, you I just hate to saying? end it like that, man. Like, I like Tick. Like, I like Tick a lot, but it's just kind of like now it's kind of. It ain't no hard feelings. It ain't no bad, but it's just like going back there is going to be different now just because that last year like right. how it, the vibes was so and sometimes man the most i be protecting us too man from our own loyalty like mm -hmm. you were so loyal to that program you probably would have stayed man you yeah. know what i'm saying but sometimes the most i get us all on out of situation that, yeah. we most, that, that we probably wouldn't do on, on our own exactly. you know what i'm saying so exactly. that's how i feel what he did with you man. definitely me so, too uh, me so, too so all right ma'am you you done put any time at tech Man, it's time to go to TSU. Yeah. What factored into that? <laughs> how, did, why, how did you choose TSU? So, what's crazy is, I don't even know if I told Penny this, but I know some of my teammates know like When I when I was transferring, first of all, I put my name in the portal like three days after we lost our last game. So I'm like, let me get on it, like whatever. Mm -hmm. So before I even put my name in the portal, because Penny had always been in my ear. Like, after the games, like, oh, I like you a lot. Like, I like you a lot. Like, I want you. Like, since freshman year, the first time I ever played them, like, in my ear, whatever. Even so, my senior when we played them, this, uh, shout out Digital Digital Boy, he was one of my teammates this year. He was like, man, you might as well come join us. Like, and in my head, I'm like, man, like, I never go to TSU. That's literally what I said. Like I said that out loud. Like when I put my name in the pool, I was like, but I ain't there. But it wasn't just TSU. I'm like, I don't want to be in the OVC no more. Cause you know, we the same conference. So I'm like, I don't even want to be in the OVC no more. Like I'm like, but I ain't going to TSU. Like, I ain't going to TSU, like whatever. So went on my business, doing all that, whatever. And then, so Penny and them, the whole staff, they came up to Cookville at Tech. They, so we sat down for lunch, like we talking. 
I'm like, man, these dudes real down to earth. Like they real, they act like I can talk to them. I can express myself. Cause they, they the same colors, you know what I'm saying? Just quite frankly, like they black, like, I'm like, I like this. I like the vibe, whatever. So I'm like, all right, let's schedule a visit. Cause like, I didn't even have a visit set up to Tennessee State. So they like, let's schedule a visit, whatever. But you know, that's like an hour down the road. So my mom and daddy, nobody came. I went down there by myself. I get on campus, man. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> like the culture, like yeah. the culture just shining through. I'm like, I'm like, this where I need to be. Like, dead serious. Just like, even me saying like, I, cause I had never been on camps where I had been down there just, you know what I'm saying, fooling around. We played against them every year. Like I felt the vibe, the band, all that. But I'm like, when I actually got there and just seen like campus life, like, and just all the fun, the act, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I was like, man, like this, what's up? Like. This, it made me feel like I got a purpose, a bigger purpose, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm like, so that, that really did it for me. When I went home from my visit, I called my mama, I was like, I really like Tennessee State. Like, mm -hmm. I really liked it. And I went into that visit, like, not expecting nothing. Yeah. Like, I'm just like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't expect none of that. Like, yeah. the vibes, the people, like, the coaches, how they joke around with each other, how they joke around with the players, the love, like, I'm like, oh yeah, like I like it. It just ain't all business. Like at Tech, it was you walk through the door, the arena door, it's business time. Like 24/7. Like I then it got to the point like that. It was stirring me up my mental web, right? Like it ain't all that serious all the time. Like you know what I'm saying? At Tennessee State, they made me realize you can have fun with it. Like don't get me wrong, when we on the court, we business for right. sure. But like when we off the court, I can talk to this my head coach. Like you know, so I can talk to him like in a way that I know how to talk. Like I ain't gotta, like slang, he understand my slang words, you know what I'm saying? Like it was just different, man, it was just different. So that that really was it, that was it. The team, and then not even that, I went there for basketball, like it was a basketball decision. A lot of people be like, TSU party, school, all that fun. Don't get me wrong, yeah, you gonna have fun in TSU, you gonna see whatever, but I went there for basketball. Like I told Penny like, I'm trying to win. We need if I'm gonna come here, we need to build a team around me so we can compete to win. And once I seen like the commit, so I'm like, okay, we can win with this team. Like, mm -hmm. so I committed. I'm like, I'm like, we can win. Like that was the number one option to me going there. I told I remember telling them, I wanna be around good people, good genuine people, and I wanna win. Cause at tech we wasn't winning like that. So like I'm like, that's all I care about. Like I cause them two things I really felt like I didn't have at tech. So I'm like, yeah man, I just wanna win. Whatever, that was really the number one thing, so in which we did. We won this year. We didn't win the whole thing, but we won more games than I ever won in college. So yeah, I'll end up working out. That's what's up, man. So yeah. on the court, man, talk about it. Man, it was the most fun I had playing basketball probably ever. Yeah. Like, other than AAU, mm -hmm. honestly, like it was just fun. Like Penny let us play. Like we got structure, we know what we're doing, but he he let me rock. He just let me rock. Like I had fun. We had a good squad. We had good players and injuries held us back mm -hmm. a lot. Like it's a dude, Christian Brown, shot C B. It's like I didn't even get to play as much as I wanted to with him, but like and that go back, he played with the stars. Your stars. Yeah. Okay. He was with the younger group, but we traveled and everything together. So like I had I already knew him, like whatever. And he was like a top ten player out of high school, whatever. He went to Georgia and ended up at the TSU. Mm -hmm. But I'm like, okay, we got him. We got Marcus Fitzgerald shot. Marcus, that's what I was playing on. We got Marcus, whatever. I'm like, add, and me add a big, we good. Like that's all we need for the OVC. And we got that, whatever. So I'm like, cool. So we end up having a good year or whatever. We went out to Cali, vibe got out there. Like it was just a good year. It was just a good fun year on the court for sure. And I had the best year I had. Like really? it just showed, yeah, every step was higher. Career highs. Career highs. That's what's 20 up. points a game, five assists, five rebounds, percentages up. You know what I'm saying? Everything just went up. And I think that just show goes to show like, you gotta have fun with it too. You know what I'm saying? Like you can't just be out there pressing and stressing. So yeah, it was the best year I had for sure. So man, I wanna say I seen you drop the 40 ball one time. <laughs> yeah, I had a 40 ball. That was crazy because the game before that, I played terrible. Like, and we was on TV, like bad game. And we, I was playing against a dude who won the player of the year, ended up winning the player of the year or whatever. Mm -hmm. And he, so it was just a big game. They televised it or whatever. 
I went out there, bro, I played terrible. I'm like, man, I felt terrible. Like, we lost again. We still had a chance to really win. Dedrick was carrying us the whole game. We had a chance to win. I'm like, dang. So I, the next uh, day or whatever, the people I work out with, they twins or whatever, Jalen and Joy, big shout out to them. Cause that's why, that's them my dogs, whatever. You be in the lab, but. We uh we got in the lab, we fixed what we saw was wrong that was going on. We watched film, just picking up the little reads and stuff I was missing. And I told them, I'm like, bro, I'm gonna have 40. Like I promised the guy. I told them like I was like the next game, I'm gonna have 40 points. Like, I'm gonna have 40 points. The next day we go to shoot around. We always went to this little place called 51st Daily to eat before uh, the game. Just us three. We'll go there. I'm like, bro. Y'all think I'm playing, like, I'm finna score 40 today. Like, they like, all right, bro, like, whatever. I'm like, all right, we get out there, get a warm up, so I'm like, oh, yeah. I already knew, like, I swear, I already knew. Like, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna go for 40. <laughs> and I, first half, I had like 26. I'm like, yeah, it's over with, like. So yeah, but that was crazy, that was crazy. So y'all had a free flowing team though, y'all, y'all. Yeah, we had a fast team. Like even our bigs was mobile. Like our bigs was slim, fast. Like we got, we had some big, like big bigs too. But we was just a fast team, free flowing, ball screen, shoot, catch and shoot. Like you know what I'm saying? Just play ball for it. But we had so much talent. Like this team. First of all, this team is the most connected team I was ever on. Like this, this is the best group. I've been a part of of my life, like any group, like mm -hmm. just with team wise, like mm -hmm. it was just the best group. Then nobody not like nobody. Everybody liked each other. Like everybody got along, and that's how we played. We just played free fun. Like it wasn't no ball hogging going on. Like none of that. Like none of that. Like even if somebody took a bad shot, like we so close and we know our relationship so close, we like. You know what I'm saying? Like, you cool. Yeah. Like, it's cool. Like, we know you can hit that shot. Like, nobody wasn't tripping on no shot. Nobody took nothing like that. So, yeah, we was real free form. We was fast. Me and Marcus in the backcourt. Marcus faster than me. So, like, we just was fast. That's what's up, man. So, overall, man, how you rate that season, man? Man, 10 out of 10. I really, the only thing, the only thing I regret in my whole life, I feel like, is just not winning a ring in college. Mm -hmm. Like, not being able to go to the NCAA tournament. That eat at me, but other than that, I don't really got no regrets, especially this year. I, I, it hurt that we didn't win, cause we definitely should. We had the best team, and everybody knew that. Like we caught on late, we won like eight out of the however many last, like nine to ten games. Like so, we had went on the high street. Nobody wanted to see us like lose winning. Like everybody knew what time was. Just piece for piece, we had the best team for sure. So your career over with, man. I just wanna uh, drop this little accolade. You was, uh, you was one of nine players in OVC history to earn consecutive all conference uh, honors. Yeah. And that's big. Yeah. That's big. Yeah. Man, man you went up there and represented four, two, three. <laughs> yeah, yeah, appreciate it. For sure, man. For sure, man. So uh, what you got going on these days, man? What's your next move? Man, actually, it's crazy because I'm signing my agent today. Oh, yeah. I ain't even told them yet. They don't oh, yeah. even know. Right when I get up out of here, I'm going to oh, make yeah. the call or whatever. Yes. And I'm going to tell them. So I can't even say it right now. But mm -hmm. just know I'm going to sign my agent today. And this has been a process because now I'm a pro. So, like, everything different. Like, everything is completely different. Like, just I've been learning so much, man, just about, like, agent team just how stuff work how you get in this league how you you know what i'm saying like who know who i'm just i've been learning a lot so i had an agency i was about to go with big time agency whatever fell through mm -hmm. like i was working with them for like three four weeks trying to get a contract whatever like long story short they didn't even really sign rookies mm -hmm. but they like we was trying to work it out like they wanted me whatever and I'm waiting on them three, four weeks, and them three, four weeks, I'm like, I'm telling other agents who trying to hit me up, like, I'm good, like, cause I'm finna sign with them. Mm -hmm. Fell through after like four weeks, like a month. So I'm like, I don't waste the time, like, I don't wasted a month, like, I'm like, dang. So that hurt, like, I'm already in. That's the first thing that happened in my professional career. I'm like, dang, mm -hmm. like that hurt big, and that was a big time agency, whatever. So start back at square one. Get with this other agency, they they kind of big time, whatever. Man, fell through again. On some like, 
So that's another week, like five weeks right there. Like, I'm like, my coat, like we trying to figure it out. Like, and it was really just like, I don't know. It was a dis. It wasn't a disagreement, but it was just like, the dude, I asked him a question and I don't think he liked the question I asked. Mm -hmm. But we was cool before that. Like, mm -hmm. and he really, what it really was is, he really wanted me to sign because he had hit me up last year when I put my name in the portal. It was like, are you gonna go pro? Or are you gonna go back to college? And I told him, like, I'm gonna go back to college. So he been wanting me. Mm -hmm. So his thing kind of was like, I've been loyal to you. Like, I'm showing you I want you. So if you don't want me, I don't want you no more. Basically, that's how. That's kind of how I, I took it. But like, so that that fell through. So I'm like, dang. Mm -hmm. Like, so I'm really like. It's this tough. So these past week, week and a half, two weeks, whatever, I've been trying to find another agent. Had to go all the way back to square one again, find another agent, and now I I done found the one. I done found the one. And I know this one ain't gonna fall through. So, but yeah, they they're a good agency. They are gonna have me in a good situation. They got some connects, whatever. So yeah, but that's what's going on right now. That's actually finna happen, but. Uh, coming up, man, I got some workouts and stuff, like some teams done called Coach Penny, some NBA teams done called Coach Penny or whatever. So the next step is sign the agent and then get into workouts. So I might probably have some workouts, like uh, the Lakers called, the Kings called, uh, the Wizards called, the Clippers called, and then I think it's one more. But they call and they interested. So how that work is like when I sign my agent, basically, they call and they kind of like push it and set it up, mm -hmm. like make it set in stone. So, but yeah, so I mean, the opportunity is there. I just gotta, I just gotta knock the door down now. Like that's all I need. That's all I ever wanted was opportunity. So that's dope. Man. Yep. That's dope, man. And you deserve it. Thank you. Yeah. All right, man. When I say two names, man, tell me what come to mind, man. I dare Clay Senior. Shout out Clay, man. Shout out Pop. <laughs> man, just sacrifice. Sacrifice. Like, both of them, really. But set my dad, like, man, he sacrificed a lot. Just like working, just putting us, like, where the background he really came from, and then how he raised us. Like he did a really good job. Like I'm gonna give him that. Like he he kept us away from a lot of stuff. Like he didn't. I ain't gonna say he didn't tell us a lot of stuff, but he just kept us out of stuff. Like it was little stuff he that I know that he probably don't even know that I know that he could have told us and it could have switched our whole way of thinking. And we, me and my sister, couldn't wouldn't be here today. Just like something like that. So I think he really did a, a real good job with that. But yeah, man, he like. He love on the heat now. He hard on us, like super hard, super duper hard. But like, that's just, I just think that's like him believing in us. Which that makes sense. Like he believes in us, he know what we can do. Like he know, he expect more out of us than we expect out of ourselves sometimes. Which back then it wasn't like, it wasn't cool. Like <laughs> to us, like even some of the stuff he was doing to us and saying to us, like it wasn't cool, but it really definitely all paid off. Like for sure, for sure. I don't think you know how good your pops was. Either, <laughs> he was straight. Like, he was light on his feet. Hey, yeah. You don't know, man. Yeah. You don't know. You know what I'm saying? For yeah. Real, for real, for real. You don't know. You know what I'm saying? All right, Miss Nikita. Is that your woman? Yep, Nikita. Nikita. Yeah. yeah, she go by show. But Nikita, yeah. either one. Now, that's, that's I feel like she the, she the goat. Like, mm -hmm. she just the goat. Like, she held everything down. Like, she is the one who push the private school, like all that, like, it's more than basketball. Like that was her, you know what I'm saying? That was her role. Like even this year I'm getting my master's, like I'm not, it wasn't even possible for me to graduate with my master's this year. Cause I had to do two years, but I only got one year left. But she owned me about that. Like, I don't care. Like make sure you go into school, make sure your grades good. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just that aspect, like it's more the ball gonna stop bouncing. But she just sacrificed a lot. Like she done been through a lot just a whole bunch of stuff we didn't have. She was gonna make sure we had it. Like she was gonna make sure we got it, no matter what she had to do. Like I done seen her do a lot of stuff for us. So That's yeah. Alright, man. What shoes you like to move in? My favorites is Kobe's. 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 But this year I was Under Armour. So take all four years, even Macaulay, I was Nike. Like when we got, I was Nike. 
my whole life, you EYBL, Nike team, AAU, like I was always Nike, whatever. The elite was Adidas. Mm -hmm. But my scene, I only wore them Adidas shoes the fresh, my freshman year. When I came back and played with Elite, I was still playing Nike, so even though we was Adidas, you know, whatever. But this year at TSU, we was Under Armour. Man, I hated Under Armour. Like, bro, I hate Under Armour. I think to this day, that's some of the reason like my feet messed up. Like, I, I really want them to like do a study on Under Armour, like, cause it wasn't just me, our whole team. Like, we'll take them out, feet be hurting, legs be hurting. Like, then you put on some Nikes, you like they don't feel like that. Like. My feet don't feel like that or whatever, but I battled some injuries this year too, actually. Just like, that I was pushing through. Like, a lot of people didn't know that. Like, I was pushing through some injuries. I had hurt my foot. I actually had to sit out like two games or a game or two, something like that. But Nike's definitely Kobe's. I like Kyrie's a lot too. Kyrie's for sure. How often do you train? I train. So, right now it's kind of different. Right now, because I'm in like, this pro, whole pro, whatever. So I gotta stay in shape, whatever. But right now, so I lift every day. Oh, I lift four times a week. Mm -hmm. I Monday, Tuesday, take Wednesday off, Thursday, Friday. Mm -hmm. So I lift. I work out in the morning, and then I go like I actually work out in the morning. Then later I just go back and shoot. So I mean, if you count the lift three times a day, mm -hmm. but in the season it was different because the season my my schedule was crazy in the way I was working out like. So I was in grad school, so my classes went to later. So I was waking up, I was lifting at like 9.30. My days was long. I was lifting at like 9.30. After that, I'd get a workout in. I'd go eat lunch, come back, practice, go to class after practice. Then I was coming back every night, night shift with the twins, who I was telling you about. Every night. We missed a few nights, but pretty much every night we was in the lab, so like, it, man, I guess like how many times you can't practice four times, I don't know, something like that. But I always believe now, that's the one thing that I always believe work. Like the work gonna show, like, I don't think you could just roll the balls out. Like eventually, yeah, some people just naturally gifted, but. It's a small percentage. Exactly, it's a very small percentage. And I think work, like, you ain't gonna be as consistent as you can be right. if you ain't working on it. And right. consistency is really the right. key. Like, sure. you ain't gonna be consistent if you ain't in the gym every day, like, fine tuning every time, you know what I'm saying? So, I believe, I really, I'm a workhorse. Like, I be in the lab. I ain't gonna lie. Like, I ain't just one of them natural players. I'm natural a little bit, of course, just because I've been doing it so long, I'm athletic a little bit. But, nah, I'll work. I'll work for sure. I feel you. Top five in the NBA right now, top five players. <laughs> I gotta say Bron. So Bron. Ooh. Giannis. Joker. <laughs> MB. And uh and I ain't even no big person. Like I don't mean like big, but them dudes is just they numbers and stuff is crazy. So I gotta give it to it. And I guess like I got a question mark on MB though, but we'll, <laughs> we'll talk about that another day. But okay. Yeah. Um, my favorite player in the league, okay, Braun is a given. But my favorite player in the league is Kyrie. Mm -hmm. Like, I like Kyrie. So, yeah. I, but Luka doing his thing. Mm -hmm. Like, so I guess one of them, mm -hmm. Luka or Kyrie. Right, but I'm a Kyrie person, though. Yeah. Uh, you got any shout outs you want to give? Man, I just want to shout out my team uh, this year, whatever, my coaches, the coaching staff, everybody at TSU for real. TSU is a special place for sure. Like, just the culture and the love everybody showed. And I want to shout out my family for sure. And I want to shout out my team off the court, like my friends, just who I, we got the same little friend group we done had for since J.A. Henry, for real. Like, it's about however many of us, but they, man, they actually do a lot for me. They don't even know, like, just being around, if I need a rebounder, like they gonna come, like, you know what I'm saying? Like they at the games, they bought courtside seats at TSU, like, you know what I'm saying? They, like that go a long way. Like right, for sure. everybody around me be like, dang, brother, your friends, like y'all type, like y'all got a real friend group. Like a lot of people don't got that. Like, so we, you know what I'm saying? Like it's, I salute them like a lot, man. A big part for real. 
and what I'm doing and how I do it is because of them. They always around. Like they always around. So yeah, big some, shout out to them. Some people go a whole lifetime not knowing what a real friend feel like. For real. Right? So that's what we're For real. Not done seen that. Yeah. So yeah, big shout out to them for sure. You got any last words for the people, man? Nah, man. I just appreciate you being on here, man. 423, bro. Give back to the young way. My God, doing, man. That's big, bro. That's appreciate another it. thing I'm big on, bro. Just like giving back. Like, I feel like that's so big, bro. You got to, especially the more you know, you got to give it back or what you what you, right. what you doing it for. Yeah. Like, you keeping it to yourself. Like, exactly. And I know some people doing that. Like, mm -hmm. and that's one of my pet peeves. I don't like that. So, giving back, man, for sure. Like, for sure, I want to do something big for the city eventually. Uh, sure. so, that was, uh, I ain't going to keep you here, man. That was another episode of Love and Wood. I'm yes, doing sir. underground balling. I had the one and only Junior Clay in here, man. Y'all be on the lookout for him, man, because yes, he's going to be making some astronomical moves. Dude. And until next time, peace, family. Yes, sir. I'm going to sit right down for the hug. Take your picture right now.